Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope you have a great summer. And uh, just want to give me some tips for today's uh, video. Uh, first thing I'm going to give you out is uh, relationship tips. Um, as for example, I've been in a relationship with my partner for at least about four years. I'm happy and, you know, these are really going strong. Um, I'm going to give you some tips on how to stay in a long term relationship. Um, the first thing you can do is um, once you're in a relationship, especially with anybody, um, it has to be connection. Um, the connection has to be like someone who is from similar, similar interests like, you know, you and your partner or, or anybody that you love with have. You know, if you and your partner can have fun, then you should know that you are a perfect match. If you and your other partner or whoever is in a match or doesn't have a similar interest, then it is likely that your relationship won't be as long as um, it should be. So, and secondly, um, you know, because I've been in past relationship and most of my past um, partners in the past, you know, they they have similar interests like myself. So actually, my interest is that I like to have fun. I like to enjoy life, uh, living in a positive life, and um, you know, like play games, go to Comic Con, um, you know, go to movies, you know, do stuff that's fun, you know, for myself. So um, that's one tip. Uh, second tip is that um, if someone is there for you, you know. That shows that they really care about you, and sometimes, you know, it's great when someone cares, but sometimes you need to realize that not everybody always has to care for you all the time, you know. Sometimes you need to make a stand for yourself and just care about yourself more than just your partner or anybody else, but you can still love your partner, you can still do things for him or for her, um, you know, and there's always some, always could be conflict when, you know, you know, you get annoyed with you know, stuff like that. But other than that, you know, it's okay to love somebody. To, you know, give them love, but don't get too attached too long because you need to have freedom and space. You know, for your other partner. You know, so that way he and she could you know have their own life. So that way you don't have to worry about. Because, <laughs> for example, you know, me and my boyfriend. You know. My boyfriend's the type of person that he cares about me so, 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 so much. I mean, you know, <laughs> what can I get wrong, you know, he, he's a caring guy, but at the same time, you know, he gets too worried about, about me and about everything. You know, he gets overprotective. And that's another thing, you know, you can't be overprotective about everything because that shows that you're afraid to, you're afraid to let that person breathe, breathe. Not like sleep, but you know, let that person to do things on his own. You know, protect himself or protect herself. You know. So that's pretty much the, my second tip. My third tip is um um don't let anyone, I mean anyone, in your part of your relationship, family, friends. Don't let them be part of your life. Don't let them take over you. Don't let them, you know, you know, interfere in your relationship. It's pretty much nobody's business. It's pretty much, you know, nobody's like, um, yeah, you mean nobody's business. Because if if people get involved, not only will it create conflict between you and your and your partner, but it creates conflict to yourself. Because sometimes you feel like stress could get in your way and you you know, that's this is why fights happens a lot, you know, because for example, you know, like my family, you know, they're the type of person that type of people that they get with the type of me for unnecessary reasons. And um you know, because I'm for example when my mom passed away, you know, my family gets weird, weird way, weird vibes of that, you know showing that we care about each other, but it just doesn't seem that way, you know. I mean, when my, when my mother was alive, she wasn't the type of person that she was overprotective to me. I mean, she 
is protective. That she, you know, she just to say, you know, what the hell? I'm just who I am. I can just do what the hell I'm do. I don't care if I'm sick. I don't care if I'm in a wheelchair. I don't care if I do this and that. That's who I am. But you know, that's the type of person she is. But yet again, you know, she's the type of person that she doesn't care about anybody else. If that person does a mistake, she say, oh well, that's yourself. That's your fault. You know, that's the type of person she is. You know, but at the same time, you know, as you know, don't just don't let your family take over your relationship, you know, or your friends, because they're not here for you when, and technically, they're not living with you, so, you know, you could tell them, you know, you, you love your partner, you could tell them that you, you know, you get together, you know, we can hang out with them, and the technical thing is, is that don't let, don't let either you or your partner do stuff for your family and your friends. Because if they do that, you know, that's, this is how family and friends take advantage. Because they can say, oh, he works or she works. Oh, uh, let's, let's have him do stuff for, for, for us. Technically, that's not how it's supposed to be. You know? Because, I'm for example, my, my partner, my boyfriend, he, he's the type of person that he likes to take out people a lot. But at the same time, you know, he doesn't see the big picture that if you take out more than one person, and even if that, even if the parents or anybody doesn't do stuff for them, I would just say let them be because this is not our battle. This is not, you know, this is not for us to jump in. This is their business. If they can't do it, oh well, they can't do it. We can't force them. So. That's pretty much that's pretty much my second my third tip. And um and my last tip is that um is that um if there are always gonna be haters, there's always gonna be people who could be judgmental or or stuff like that. Like, you know, and you know, people could be discriminate about your sexuality and everything. So, you know, for for right now, you know, you just gotta brush that off. Just don't get into conflict, you know. I mean, yeah, the relationship, you know, you know, you want people to jump in to protect you, you know. But you can't always protect everybody, you know. You just gotta just say, you know what? If there's a conflict, just walk away, you know, because because there's a lot, there's a lot of dangerous people outside, and sometimes there's people outside of the world that don't accept. You know who we are, you know, and there's a lot of you just can't, you know, force them to change. So, but you know, to my boyfriend, he what he does, he he likes. I mean, he for example, like if this is a situation that people will talk talk crap about me or talk this and that, he had no taste of tongue. He no like taste of tongue and say, hey, you know this, you know who the hell are you? Did you to say stuff to my boyfriend, you know, and then, you know, and then he would create, like, you know, arguments and violence, you know, which, to me, I don't like that, you know, I'm, I'm a type of person that if somebody just say something to me, I'm like that person say something in front of my face or um, me in general because <laughs> I had no tip of my tongue that I am very blunt and sometimes, you know, I just say one thing and just let it be, you know, if people don't like it, oh well. But that's pretty much the relationship tips I have. Um, you know, the only way to stay in a long term relationship is just be happy. You know, be happy and you just you need to have a teamwork. You know, a teamwork with your partner. You know, and when your partner is where we, like, if you or him or her or whatever, like, work together to keep our relationship, the relationship alive, like, you know, if you do stuff for him, if you do stuff for her, or well, you know, just do stuff together. You know, that's how you stay in relationship for long. You know, and you know, sometimes there's gonna be flaws. You know, you know, he may do stuff that he or she may do stuff that you're not gonna like. But you know what? Sometimes you know, you just gotta deal with it. But you know, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much relationship tips.
So, um, I'm Louis Jr. 298, and I hope you have a great summer, and I hope you, I will keep you update of my new videos, and post new songs. I am working on a lot of new songs, so, um, <laughs> so, take care, but have a nice summer.